Here we are in Tokyo in our Airbnb. Voila! It's one of our bigger Airbnbs actually in Tokyo. We have like a generous amount of room. But basically what we did today was getting off the plane, camping at the airport, and then we caught the first train out to Tokyo and we walked around Shinjuku. Stupid me! Forgot to bring the vlog out for dinner so I don't have any footage of that. But we did come back with $60 melons and let me show you guys right now look at these glorious melons and now they look like they're broken but they are not they that's just how they are and that's all the sugar and stuff like that and oh my lord it's like clear and stuff like that so juicy I just really wanted to show you guys before I end the vlog well, I'll end the day today. Yeah, tomorrow's gonna be a brand new day and it's gonna be much more exciting. So stay tuned for that and I will see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow. Hello. Good morning. Uh, we woke up really early today because we're headed to Odaiba today. Stop it. We're heading to Odaiba today. Hopefully we'll head to... Cyber City again and head back to the round one where Kenny won a bunch of figurines. Later on in the day, we're actually going to head to the Oedo Montagari Onsen. Monotagari Onsen. I think we're going to spend the majority of the day there. There's a lot of like picturesque spots there. Well, not really. It's mainly an onsen, so we've never been, so we're gonna go check it out. There's food and everything, so I'm super excited for that. But first, let's go grab some breakfast and head to Odaiba. Yes, so I'm not quite sure what they had to offer, but we're probably gonna hit the bath and then we'll catch you guys in a little bit. Does it have anything in there? It does. Oh my god! Oh shit! What's that? Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh my god! Oh shit! Oh shit! You got a Mickey figure? And then... What is this? Uh, coloring case? Coloring case? But this is what but, I wanted. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Katsu for brunch. You would say it's like 11:30 right now. Anyways, we are grabbing Gyukatsu and hopefully check out some Soji Temple-ish. And then tonight is the highlights because tonight we're eating Papa Fish. Just 
made it to Ikebukuro and now we're walking to our puffer fish restaurant where we made reservations for tonight. We're really excited to try puffer fish for the first time, but also scared because oh, nice. if not done correctly, we can die from eating puffer fish. So we're really mentally preparing ourselves. But yeah, let's see how good it is. I heard like. Everyone who has tried it says it's like super super good, so I'm excited to give it a try. But let's hope we don't die. <laughs> What's your experience eating puffer fish? We survived. I, like, I only like the hot chicken. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you went to my place, to be honest, but maybe puffer fish is just not our thing. The meat, it's very t dense. Um, and I've heard that a lot about puffer fish, and it tastes somewhat like chicken. Chicken? Probably would not get it again, but it's definitely a great experience. Uh, for $45, we opted for another type of sashimi, which is they call the tiger puffer fish sashimi. That's what we got, but they also have the really thinly sliced sashimi, which I think would taste a little, would have been a little better because you would have actually tasted the puffer fish at its like truest form. We're headed to Taiko Station right now and we're gonna go back to Shinjuku. I need a boba fix, so I am determined to get back before the boba tea store closes. So I'll see you guys in Shinjuku.